picture of RA, another bit of news that is good on one side, but when you see the nominees, it's a little bit strange and I feel like it's completely unnecessary because it just is. Anyway, this is the first thing. So you've got this article courtesy of RA. It says the following. Mobo Awards introduces first ever dance music category, which is absolutely incredible and something I feel like should have happened a long time ago. If you don't know what the Mobo Awards are, it's essentially the UK version of the BET Awards. Um, so essentially kind of, you know, highlighting and recognizing people from the black community who are making incredible music and whatnot. And, you know, the fact that we don't have a dance music category at that award ceremony is absolutely a liberty, but it's good to see it being introduced now. But the nominees is the interesting part of it. It says the Mobile Awards introducing the first ever. Damn, hey Viva. It says the Mobile Awards introducing a best electronic dance act category for the first time since. For the first time, sir. The Mobile Awards introducing a best dance electronic music dance category. <clears throat> the Mobile Awards is introducing a best dance. The Mobile Awards is introducing a Best Electronic Dance Act category for the first time in 2022. The nominees for the new award, which is sponsored by Mixmag, are as follows. Ants, who I always love. Eliza Rose, FKA Twigs, Jax Jones, Near Archives and Shirelle. The Mobas have previously been criticised for its lack of dance music representation. In April, Neo Archives penned an open letter saying it had been massively regressive for the black community. And then she got nominated, which is hilarious. She wrote, how can we expect young black people to see themselves in music if our own organisations and award ceremonies won't even celebrate the diverse range of talent that boldly exists in this country? I wonder if I made an, oh, if I penned an open letter to Bergheim talking about the lack of black DJs. You cannot give me a set, <laughs> give me a slot to play. That'd be awesome. Jaguar and Helena Starr expressed their similar concerns in a mixed mag article in 2020. Unlucky, saying the decisions to ignore massive parts of global history have contributed to the erasure of dance music's black history heritage. Okay. Posting on Instagram earlier today, November 11th, Black Music, sorry, Black Electronic Music Association, BEMA, bloody hell, mate, um, announced he has been working tirelessly to reinstate the Dance Music Award at the MOBA. So I wonder why they took it down in the first place. Like, dance music, especially within the black community, especially within black culture, especially in the UK, is very prevalent, right? From back in the day, from, I don't know, you know, back in the day, even a few years ago, especially during the uh, during the peak years of funky, the amount of people who could have been acknowledged, man, the, the peak year of flipping garage music of... Oh, so many things uh, it's, so it's a real shame the 25th anniversary of the mobile wars will take place on london webby arena and be live streamed on youtube and highlights will subsequently be aired on bbc one i don't know when it's going to happen but the thing that's annoying for me about this sort of thing is it kind of feels a bit performative or it kind of feels like they're obviously trying to tick all the you know representation boxes because they're just for the most part with the exception of jack jones again i'm not sure how he identifies but they're all girls every single one of them and it's a bit of a liberty because it's like there's plenty of other boy djs who or male djs sorry who are underrepresented who are also black who play amazingly and who have influenced culture in a really amazing way especially this year who should be recognized who aren't on that list and i just feel like in an effort to maybe highlight the female DJs or the women DJs who clearly don't get highlighted a lot, especially in dance music, it's definitely something that is an issue. You've somehow also slighted like the black guys who are doing bits and bobs in the industry as well. It's a very strange thing. And then to have the person who coined the open letter have a nomination, it's also like, is that nomination based on merit or is it based on the fact that they were moaning about it? I don't know. It just feels a bit weird and it kind of takes away from how amazing this category is and the things that it could do in the future, especially it being kind of sponsored by Mix Mag. There also could be like a funnel that could go from like Mix Mag into stuff like MOBOs in terms of being recognized. You can see stuff like, you know, artists kind of, you know, um, what's that word called? A and R in terms of, you know, is it A and R? Whatever that thing is, in terms of cultivating an artist, in terms of helping them kind of, you know, navigate the industry, uh, whatever it may be, that could be a good way to kind of make things work. And Mixmag has been sometimes accused of being a little bit whitewashed. So this is a good way to obviously repair their reputation in that regards. But I just feel like there could be a lot more diversity in the nominees for me. Because like I see, I see five 
I would say women and then I see one dude which is crazy when you consider the contribution that black community has played overall in dance music this year alone it's pretty nuts to have that be your representation but again it's maybe the first time and maybe we should maybe cut them some slack or i should cut them some slack but it's a bit disappointing i'm not going to lie in an effort to appease one set of people one group of people you've then kind of completely ignored another group of people and you just thrown this one guy in there just as like charity i feel like it's a little bit annoying in my opinion uh, you know and and the person that moaned about it really article is there like you know come on man it's like biggest love you knew you were gonna be there you 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 complained about it it makes complete sense why you were gonna be on there in it but again um, you know awards are maybe not the most important thing but sometimes if you are toiling away in the creative you know in the in the in the arts you know that you don't get many you don't get much recognition for the things that you do behind the scenes or maybe in front of the cameras um not everyone makes the big bucks not everyone gets a tour not everyone gets to get super famous so sometimes awards can be a great way to acknowledge people even sometimes just nominations it doesn't need to be flipping give winning the award just being nominated sometimes can go a long way to kind of appease people and make them feel like they are seen and that their work matters and all that good stuff so i get it but i just would like to see more more representation when it comes to the guy side of things because we also exist we also don't get recognized we also at the bottom of the totem pole we're fighting there with you guys and we just like to see us being represented a lot more on here because this is completely out of order i feel like having all of these ladies and then having just one dude here feels a little bit insulting but hey at least we're starting somewhere at least we are starting somewhere